Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I decided to do this look right here. I did a pony look. Okay, so I totally meant to say unicorn, not pony, unicorn. This is my hair and I will link down the video that I used down below because I didn't want to buy anything, but I did do it and it's so cute. And I just added some glitter. I went ahead and did a half face cute side and then a half zombie. Arr. But that's that's a pirate, but <laughs> I don't know what zombies do. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and do this look right here and I added some blood and I just added this right now. It's not going to show in the other video because um, I didn't think about it until after I was done filming. But yeah, I did add a little bit of blood to make it look like, you know, I ate someone. But I really, really liked how this side turned out. So I'll probably end up doing this for Halloween if I go anywhere because I'm pretty late. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I will have a little button on the side. I always forget what side it is on, but it, I apologize because this is video is all over the place. I honestly did not know what I was doing. I just know that I wanted to make something like this and I wanted to make it my own without having to copy anybody. But yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, thumbs up, and let me know um, I don't know, let me know your thoughts and like what you think I should do for my next video. And I will see you guys soon, bye. Okay, so I went ahead and just primed my face. And then I'm using the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, so excited. But first I'm going to go ahead and just use a transition shade. Next I'm going in with my I Love Sarai and ColourPop. And I'm gonna be using this pink color. I did add some tape. So that it can look snatched and fierce so then I am just putting that all over my eyelid and blending it all together next I'm using this purple color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using that on my outer lid and I'm just blending all of these colors in together I used some sparkly shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette I don't know what it's called but I used her palette mainly and the I Love Sarai and ColourPop palette so then I'm just going to be blending all of these eyeshadows together and adding some more glitter to the front of or the middle of the eyelid. And then I am taking it off my tape and look how snatched and fierce that little line is. So then I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty foundation and I am going to be doing a review on this foundation. But I really, really loved how this foundation set on my skin and I don't know if it lasted all day because I didn't get to try it all day but I will have a review, review on that later. Then I'm going to be using some of my concealer from Tarte and I'm just going to be concealing my under eye area making it brighten up a little bit more. So then I went ahead and just used this setting spray to set my face so that I can put my highlighter on. And I used the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights collaboration, this purple tone. I loved the look of it because it has purple undertones and it matched um, my eyeshadow really good. So I just went ahead and put all this glitter on my face because honestly, like, what's a unicorn without glitter? So then I just went ahead and bathe myself in glitter and for this step I feel like you didn't really have to do for this next step um, I combined the two blue colors in the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette but honestly it just like I don't know I don't really like how it turned out so you can probably just skip this this step if you don't like it um, I did end up blending these together so it doesn't look like that the final finish doesn't look like that but I just went ahead and added more glitter and more highlighter on it and then I added some purple on my under eye area and after that I just put the rest of it on my cheek to make it look more blended and like more different colors because unicorns are like usually rainbow so then I just went ahead and put all this all over my eye and yeah you can see that I'm blended it, blending it on my cheek 
So then I used some white eyeliner and put that under my waterline. I ended up putting my fake eyelashes and this white wing eyeliner off camera. Then I used this metallic um, lipstick by Maybelline and thank you Influencer for sending me these complimentary lipsticks. And then I went ahead and used this white eyeliner to draw like a face to separate the zombie side with the regular beautiful pony or unicorn look. So then I went ahead and just used this cream base and I put that on my face all over on the other side as you can see I'm just spreading this all over the other side of my face then I added some purple on the top and I honestly was just going super crazy and adding a whole bunch of stuff that I thought would look cute but um, I ended up adding this on the other side as well so that it didn't look so like one side super dark purple on my forehead and then the other side nothing so yeah this is what I did I just added this and then contoured a little bit of my skin with this purple um, shade to make it look more like zombie looking like my face was dead and you know scary looking Then I added this thing on my nose. I don't know, I saw it in pictures, so I thought it looked cute. So then I just did the same eye look on the other side, and I used the same colors from the I Love Sadae and ColourPop, and then the purple, except this time I went ahead and just put it all over like in a circle to make it look like a zombie. So then I use the same metallics for my lips and I just put it all over my lips and decided to use a different lipstick but you'll see that later on um, I put this and I love how they're so creamy and they work so good so then I put some setting spray and I put um, some glitter on one side the side that is all cute I put glitter on that side I put I used the Anastasia um, glow kit and I used the color snow and then I'm gonna use Kylie Jenner on the other side um, I got this one for free, but I don't know or like it came in like in a buy one and then this came with it But um, I got it a long time ago, but I just went ahead and just used this again I will have all the products that I used down below and then I realized that I went over the line So then I was like, oh skip it. I'm just gonna you know act like I ate someone and zombies have black all over their mouth right because they're dirty from being in the dirt I don't know so I kind of just went all crazy and yeah this is basically the final look and then um, you can add some blood or you can leave it like that I didn't know or I didn't think about adding blood until after but yeah so this is basically it I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, Chica! My dog is so annoying.